um, I was, I had just moved to Portland um, and uh, I was a stay at home dad for like three years. And then I came home from a trip with the boys and she's like, I cheated on you, get out. And so then I was homeless the next day. And God. so I was living on the coast in Newport. I moved back to Portland. Um, a friend of mine, Keegan Smith, he's a musician and he was like hanging out with a bunch of kids. I started teaching those kids. We were talking about starting a school together. And then like a weekend, he like, before a show that we had, he was like, dude, I can't do it. He was like crying. He was like, I'm going to fail you. I really believe in what you're doing. Let me introduce you to this chick that I think you should start a business with. Her name was Kirsten. Now she goes by Lady Helpish. And, um, and so we now started. Now your soulmate. Oh, my God. Yeah, we totally accidentally fell in love. We went on what I thought was a date. And it turns out it was like she was like on a date with like six guys. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like more of a hangout thing. Um, and so what I thought was a date was she did not think was a date. Then I kind of like ghosted her that night. And then we made plans to meet up like maybe a week or two later. And I thought we were just hanging out. She totally thought it was a date. And we went and we hung out in a car for 12 fucking hours. For six of it, we talked and we ta talked about like, building a business and like uh, shared with her all the music and stuff and all these things. And then we, we kudos to lady help us. She did not give it up for four months and uh, no Damn. nookie for me, <laughs> four months, but we dry humped for six hours. And so I got <laughs> home from the 12 hour date. So it was one of those marathon and, dates. And then afterwards it's like, I, I guess we're yeah. together now. And I was walking funny and Lee was like, oh, shit, did you get herpes that quick? That's some fast-acting herpes uh, for you to walk yeah. funny. And I was like, no, it's dick burn. I just dry hump for six hours. And so then we wrote this song. <laughs> so I did write, oh, I God. wrote a really pretty love song about her. But the first song that I wrote for my lady goes like this. <laughs> We're gonna have to make a decision right now. I'm pretty sure that we're about to bone down Or maybe we could just do something else instead Cause I can't help all of these questions in my head Like what if you're batshit crazy And I accidentally give you a baby Turns out it was my cold sword you gave me Maybe I won't call you Maybe you won't call me either but honey, we're both calling the dry cleaners. <laughs> well, maybe we could dry home. <laughs> Rub your jeans upon my jeans. Maybe we could dry home. <laughs> I'll be a spandex love machine. Maybe we could dry home. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Let's some STDs. Maybe we could dry home. But now I got blood burn on my 